And welcome to YouTube video for this 1998 Damon Challenger model 3611. A 36 feet nice short diesel pusher in great shape. It's wide body, no slide out, but take a look at the condition. It's got only 28,000 miles. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about good and bad. Uh, good is, let's see, windshields are free from any, uh, any major damage. I see no scratches or uh, uh, star cracks. Uh, good shape. Got new coach batteries in the front. Uh, take a look at from side. No D-lamp, straight body. All the decals look to, look, uh, seems to be in really good shape. Got a 5.9 liter ISB Cummins, 275 horsepower engine. Uh, Michelin tires, they're not original, but they're not new. They're 2008 date code. Uh, like to replace them, you can. They're not showing lots of uh, dry rot at crack, but there are some. Okay, let's look at underbelly storage. Lots of storage. That's a water tank. It's probably got a big... Look at the paint scheme. I mean, paint is in really good shape for 98 model motorhome. No, no dry rot at cracks. Decals are good. Uh, this is a pass-through storage up on top part. It uh, rides on a Freightliner chassis. 50 amp power cord, again pass through storage. Got some uh, storage lights in here. This is the air ride chassis. So ride a lot better than some of the gas coaches. A wet bay here. Uh, you know, all the sewer hose, everything goes right here. Again, they're Michelin 235.80, 22 and a half tires. They're 05, uh, 05 06. Uh, take a look at all my pictures. I, I do show. Uh, but I can't get over it. It's a little dirty right now. We had it washed, but you know how the chalky uh, roof that comes down and got some white stain, but it's in really good shape. Two cranking batteries, fairly new, no problem. Even the, the air filter looks fairly new. It was a trading motorhome. Let me repeat, it's a trade, not a repossessed motorhome. Uh, let's go up top. And I'm going to show you the engine too. It's got a 5,000 pound towing capacity, reach type hitch. And uh, let's go up top now. All right, we're on top of the roof. It's a rubber roof. Uh, it could take a coat of a elasto paint or Dicor paint. It, it will cost about four or 500 bucks, but it's no leaks underneath. You're going to see it when we go under the motorhome. Really good shape, uh, but the roof is solid. There's no issues. It could use a little paint but not right away maybe you can wait a year or so and you can put a roll the paint on your own it's a elasto paint very simple uh, maintenance to do uh, so it could be due in the near future all right let's go back down as you come down from on top of the motorhome take a look at the radiator no issues it's not road rock or you know some of the radiators are damaged rusted it's a good motorhome good solid motorhome five nine diesels are known to be uh, just last forever 28,500 miles that's like it's not even breaking in yet. Take a look at the wall. No, uh, no D-lamb. The decals are in really good shape. I don't know if they're vinyl or painted. Uh, Damon did a really good job on this uh, motorhome. Ultra Sport. Cloth awning rather than a vinyl. So that's a good quality there. Got outside floor mat or tailgating. Pass through storage. And right here you got outside entertainment. So you just unsnap this and this thing comes out probably need a little cleaning my detail guys probably missed this one but look at this wow it's a long table that comes out got old old school radio out here you can change that for next to nothing all right it's a 36 11 so it should be around 36 37 feet long None of the windows are foggy, clear windows. Uh, nice cloth awning, patio awning. Looks like a 20, 22 feet long. Three electric step that goes in and out, as you see here. They work. All right, let's step in this motorhome. It's odorless. No, the handle, grab handle is a little broke right here. You could put another one, but I like to show little stuff wrong too. Those grab handles are not that bad. You can get some. All right, as we come in here on cockpit area, as you can hear this loud beeping, it's jacks. All the four, le all four leveling jacks are down right now, so I'm going to turn it off. It's just a warning you that you cannot move the motorhome. It's got 28,500 miles, backup monitor, uh, cassette player. It's got old school stuff, but 
Look at the dash in really good shape. I love the, the way you design of the uh, dash is. We got six speed Allison rather than a four speed, uh, some of these cheaper motorhome hats with so six speed Allison. Uh, look at the walls and stuff. No water leaks or anything like that. Previous owner took care of this motorhome in a very, very good, sh uh, nicely. Generally, they use this motorhome. Really good shape, 28,550 miles. That's the mile. Generator has uh, 68 hours. It's got a 7,000 watts generator. I forgot to show it to you outside. It's a, a Kohler uh, 7,000 watt generator. It runs on LP gas and it runs fine. I probably need some LP right now, but we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that generator runs when you come to pick it up. Uh, old style TV, you could put LCD TV. You could probably put a 32 inch TV right here with no problem. Uh, video distribution box up here. All right, let's see. Uh, take, a, take a look at the seats and stuff in really good shape. You've got power seats, flex steel, no tears or rips. We'll just put some plastic down on this carpet. Carpet in really good shape. I've got a floor, guys. We can put a, a seven millimeter laminated floor or hardwood floors, depending on what you pick. Uh, Two thousand to twenty-five hundred dollars. We can we can we can make this coach completely hardwood floors if you'd like to. There is a table that comes out here, and this uh, passenger seat swivel around. The, that uh, recliner seat swivel around. Um, sofa opens up in the bed. Clean upholstery. Boot dinette will open up in the bed. Ceiling has no stain. Take a look at it. it. It is in really good shape. No water leaks. That tells you right there. Nice wooden cabinetry. Convection oven as well as traditional oven. And we have a three burner gas stove, Corian countertops, dual ceramic sink. On entering, uh, there's some more storage under the booth on it as well. Got some seat belts there, so it'll probably uh, you could probably have a six, seven seat belts, eight seat belts. Coat closet here, two roof air conditioners. Uh, that's a thermostat for front. You got a private toilet. That's a that's a good plus right here. Private toilet. And I can't believe how much space you got here in the bathroom area and all that. Got a privacy curtain that comes open here. And you got another one right at the bedroom area. A glass enclosed shower. Very clean. Lots of cabinetries and drawers and stuff for, for the full timers. Get away. All right, over here we got a, some counter space, medicine cabinet, more storage under there. Take a look at the carpet, it's in really good shape. We just put a, a plastics down and after detailing it again. You could have a hardwood floor put on by yourself. Well, I have guys that'll somewhere around two grand to twenty five hundred dollars depending on the wood you pick, but it could be done. No TV back here, but it does have hookup, the coaxial hookup. Uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter. I just charged my phone there. That's the old TVs. They used to come 12 volt. Uh, closets in good shape. No evidence of any water leaks whatsoever. It is a 98 model. I could not tell you that it never leaked in his life. It's kind of like I'm 47 years old. If I never had a fever, I'd be lying to you. But I never had a pneumonia and died. So it didn't have any uh, water leak that I could see being around motorhomes for 15, 16 years. This is a good solid motorhome. These motorhomes are hard to find, especially old one. They're 1998 uh, with a 28,000 miles, well kept, not a repo. I'd like to repeat one more time. There are lots of bargains out there, repos. Uh, people can't make payment. They cannot take care of the motorhome. When they can't take care of the motorhome, uh, a tree limb falls on top of the, uh, let's see, a skylight and water comes in. It'll ruin the motorhome. Uh, so just uh, repos are bad motorhomes. You're looking for a good deal, go buy your project. You'll never camp in it, but you'll, you'll be proud of it. You got a great deal. So here we go. Let me just sum it up. Tires are not brand new. You want new tires? Be $3,000 Michelin tires. You can change the size and you can put a Yokohama or something cheaper tires and you can get away $1,500, $2,000 tires. Um, you want a hardwood floor? We can do it. $2,000, $2,500, depending on what, what kind of wood you pick in. Uh, so there are a couple of stuff wrong, but 
Other than that, it's a really solid, good diesel pusher. Let's get on with test drive, see how it drives. All right, test drive on this 1998 Damon Ultra Sport 3611. It has a power mirrors. I've got a big correction to make. Earlier in my video, I mentioned it had ISB 5.9 liter Cummings. Well, I've got a pleasant surprise for you. For you. It's a 7.2 liter 3126 Caterpillar. So Caterpillar, it's, it's a, got a lot more torque. You can look at the specs. Nothing wrong with a 5.9 Cummings. I've got a lot of those in a motorhome, but 7.2 liter is a bigger engine and it's a cat. 28,000 miles, 28,500 miles. We're on the highway, take a look at it. I'm doing about 60 miles an hour right now. All right, let's get on about 70. It is just eating the road like crazy. I'm at 70 miles an hour now. We're the 530 traffic here in South Carolina. Let's test the, uh, uh, I'm gonna test the uh, cruise control. Yep, cruise works. Man, love it. We're on our way to Myrtle Beach. This is the road that leads you to the East Coast. Uh, take a look at the steering wheel. Steer straight, does not pull left or right. It's steering straight. Just a beautiful running machine. So um, thank God the, the, the cruise works. It does not pull right, left, air right, chassis rides good. I did not see exhaust brakes here. It may not have one. You could install one if you'd like to. It's a short motor home, so. Air brakes works really good. Uh, we're gonna take exit in just a little bit here. So, um, six-speed Allison, it's also a, a, a better feature than a four-speed Allison. Nothing wrong with the four-speed, six-speed will give you better gas mileage. So this, this motorhome could get up in double digits. So it'll start around seven, eight, nine, but it could on a nice terrain. And if you keep it at 60, 65 miles an hour, um, they could give you a double digit gas mile, di uh, fuel miles. Um, I guess uh, if people say pictures are thousands of words, well, I'd like to add that video would do millions of words. So it still will not replace coming down here and touching it, feeling it, looking at it with your own eyes. But the video does make a lot of difference. Uh, I like to mention good and bad. I hope uh, this video helped you out. Have any questions, call me. I prefer text communication. My phone number is 864-404-0054. I prefer text. Once again, if you don't know how to text, and call me, leave me a message, I'll get back with you. 864-404-0054. Thank you for your time and look forward to earning your business. Have a great day.